Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate a proof of concept showing how the EEO spray Wi-Fi router is vulnerable to cross-site request forgery protection. This vulnerability allows an attacker to utilise a victim's O spray device to send SMS messages to any number the attacker likes, including premium rate numbers. This is this is a device in subject here, the EEO spray 2 from EE. I'm using one now and I'm connected to it here. Uh, this device connects to the internet via 3G or 4G and allows devices to connect via Wi-Fi to receive internet. Um, let me show you the SMS feature on the device. Let's log in. Here we go. So you can just type a number in the top here, any number you like, and it will send a message. This is normal behaviour, but what's interesting about this uh, vulnerability is to send a message you don't need to be logged in and there's no cross-site request uh, forgery. So by placing a little bit of HTML code on a, any sort of web page, if a user visits that web page, their device can be utilised to send SMS messages without being required to log in. So to prove this now, I will log out. There we go. Now here's the bit of HTML. I've saved this here. And we'll open that into Firefox in a moment. Here's where you provide the number you want to send to and the message. Let's type a message here. Testing recording video. Uh, this number is my friend's number. He's able to screenshot. So <clears throat> let's ensure we're logged out of the device. Yep, logged out. Let's load this up into Firefox. And the message is sent. And now if you log into the device and check sent there we go. I forgot to save, so it's sent just testing. Let's try again. And let's ensure we're locked out. Yep. Let's open it again and the message was sent and this time he should receive the message that shows testing was recording video let's have a wait yep there we go so as you can see you don't need to be logged into the uh, into the router itself and it will send a message to any user you like. Let's just prove it one more time by logging in because that time it was logged in. Testing one more time the now logged out. Let's save and open that page one more time. we go, sent one more, let's wait for the screenshot to come back, now this is only possible because EE don't provide no protection and they allow you to send a message even when you're not logged in, which is very bad, so there we go. So basically, EE, you need to fix this very quickly.